Today we're talking about the brand new Wanted Provoke 41 liter and just how much different it is from my old 31 liter. Is there anything left to improve on this bag? Let's find out. For those of you coming from a previous version of the Provoke like I am, I'd compare this new design to an iPhone upgrade. If you wanted, you could continue to use this bag exactly how you used the last model. But Wander has thrown in some key upgrades that you can take advantage of if you know where to look. Starting with the size of this new 41 liter option. When you first get it, I want you to know that you won't immediately feel that this is a much bigger bag. My first thought was, hold up, it kind of looks the same. This is because from the front, the 31 liter and the new 41 liter look almost exactly the same size. They share a very similar structure and skeleton. But as soon as you turn the bag to the side, you start seeing where that extra 10 liters went to. It's like the 41 liter put on a little bit of lockdown weight, if you know what I mean. But that extra weight is just more to love, because all of a sudden, the interior of this bag is noticeably deeper. So much deeper that Wander now has a special, deep version of their Pro Camera Cube that takes advantage of all the extra space. This gives you just that much more flexibility in how you pack your stuff in there. Your gear is going to feel like it moved from an inner city apartment to a bungalow out in the suburbs. And speaking of the Camera Cube, I definitely recommend going with the Pro Camera Cube as it allows you to take full advantage of the size of this bag from top to bottom. The extra size also means that all of the pockets are a bit bigger as well. I especially noticed this on the tech pouch up top, the hidden passport pocket on the back, and most importantly, the side access pocket, which makes it easier to get your gear out smoothly. Beyond the size, the other most noticeable difference on the exterior is the redesigned back panel and shoulder straps. I wanted to see if it was actually more comfortable, and since I tend to be a little biased toward new stuff, I asked my wife Nisha for her honest opinion. Yeah, I didn't know that I was going to be on camera today, so excuse this, but I am going to try these bags on and tell you exactly how I feel. Alright, let's go. Okay, not bad, not bad. Just having slight issues getting it on. Okay, let's see. So right away I can tell the difference in the strap and just how the weight doesn't feel too heavy. Like everything just feels cushioned and supported and I'm not really carrying much weight. It just feels really comfortable. Like I could walk a mile with this dance and twirl. But really you feel the biggest difference in the straps. And the back support. Like my back feels like I'm sitting against a cushion, which is so nice. My first impression of the straps was that the old ones have a nicer texture to touch, kind of like a memory foam, versus the new straps that are a little bit more like a soft styrofoam feel. But the finishing of the exterior is much better, and it does actually feel more comfortable to wear. The back panel is noticeably better in every way as well. You can instantly see just how much more supportive it is just by looking at it. Beyond the comfort, they also added a couple new design features to the back. First is this handy dandy little chest strap mechanism that I've never actually seen in use before. They used to have a traditional buckle here, but now to connect the chest strap, you just... And to remove it, you just... I always get worried about pinching my fingers in those buckles, so this is a welcome change. Just below the chest straps, you'll also find a new luggage strap. When we're back to flying in airplanes again and I have this thing packed to capacity, it's going to be nice to be able to just strap this onto some rolling luggage and take the weight off of my rapidly aging bag. It also hides the hidden passport pocket even more, which is a nice added touch. Now, once you open the bag back up, you're going to notice another major change on the laptop sleeve. Wandered is clearly on a mission to make all 41 liters of this bag useful, so even the outside of the sleeve has some extra pockets. I can already think of ways to use these. For example, you could put everything from business cards to SSDs to those little extra pieces of gear like the tripod plates in these pockets. They also finally made the magnets on the top handle stronger. How much stronger? Well, I'd say it's noticeable. The connection feels a bit snappier, but I wish it was even stronger to be honest. Functionally, I think it's fine, but I'm really longing for that third grade version of you needing to ask your teacher for help getting the magnets apart type of strength. They just don't make magnets like they used to. So those are the main things I noticed for the major changes, but there are some more subtle changes as well. For example, they got rid of a lot of those extra zippers inside the bag that you had to fight through before. The good news is that they also kept all the features that I've always loved. They're still using materials with really cool sounding names. They still kept all the pockets I love and it still has extremely useful side access. 
it still has that expandable roll top that lets you have an extra 5 liters when you need it. And yes, it still has the floating table mode. So what did they miss? Well, for starters, I would have loved to see some of the innovations from their other product lines make it into this design update. The big one that stands out to me is that it would have been great to have security features on all of the exterior zippers. For example, on my Veer, it has these awesome zipper locks that make it more difficult for pickpockets to try to slip a hand into your bag. The other thing is that the camera cube still only comes in the darkest color known to mankind. As I mentioned in my last Wondered video, this doesn't make a lot of sense since most camera gear is also black, and if you find yourself in a marginally dark environment, you're going to be playing Marco Polo to try and find what you're looking for. So please Wondered, make a limited edition Wondered Orange or Gobi 10 camera cube interior. So where does Wondered go from here now that the Provoke is at a 41 liter size? Well in terms of bigger bags, they've got the Fernway at 50 liters and the Hexed Carryall Duffel at 60 liters. But what I'd love to see is one that's even bigger than that. Imagine, the Wandered Kit Bag. What I'm thinking is something like a gig bag that can fit all of your small light stands, tripods, lights, and whatnot, but in the Wandered spirit, it can also double as a suitcase replacement for travelers. So when you're at your home base, you can use it to transport all of your shoot day essentials, but when it's time to travel, you've got the perfect bag to take on a holiday vacation. Anyways, let me know if you have any questions about the new Provoke, and as always, thanks for watching.